Hello, this is uh, Tony, and uh, just going to share a video of how I make my wingtip dihedral. I had some questions, and uh, well, a question from some filler, and how I do it. And uh, just made a little example piece. It's just to tape right now, holding that together. Just add some glue, and uh, maybe a carbon fiber spar or something to make it a little stiffer. Not like it really needs it though. Shit. But there it is. Normally for wing tips I go for about three eighths of a slight of a uh, deal there. Measurements on each side and two inches off to the edge. And after I get those lines put down, I uh, just you know at the apex of the cord the uh, highest point of the cord, I, you know, put a line from the center of my two lines there, and, and go up at an angle. I do the same down here, all the way up to the highest point. And on this, it happens to be, you know, kind of flat. So we got a flat area here. And uh, yep, that's what it looks like. I cut it all the way out, all the way down to the bottom layer of foam, and I leave that bottom layer, you know, and uh, then you just fold it, and it goes together real well, and uh, you just got to be sure to keep your line straight, you know what I mean, you keep this stuff good and straight, and you won't have no problem, you know, it will go together, and uh, of course I'm sure you know that the thinner this line, the the less angle you'll have, and on wingtip dihedral, six degrees is, you know, go any less than six degrees, and it ain't no more than just a wing. Okay, and they don't they don't have the effect that that wingtip dihedral of you want. So keep it six degrees or more, and then you'll have a wingtip dihedral. You know, and uh, the rest is up to you. So there you go, guys. Enjoy.